guys, welcome back to Cricut Monday. What we're going to be doing today is I want to make my husband an Easter shirt for our Easter candy taste test, okay? And I'm really excited to do this. So if you don't have a Cricut or you're not interested in watching this video, I hate to see you go, but I'll see you tomorrow, Tuesday, for our Dollar Tree Easter candy taste test. We have Maggie on there and we always have a lot of fun. Okay, so I have design space already loaded here on my canvas. And I'm going to go to the circle with the plus for new project, replace what I was working on, and that will put us on our canvas, okay? It's a really cute image and I thought it would be adorable for my husband to wear and it definitely ties into the three of us, okay? So I've already uploaded it and I'll put the link in the description box for the image. It was not a whole lot. I think it was like $3, I really don't remember. Okay, so I'm going to go to images right here on the left side, click on that. Then I'm going here where it says ownership, click on that. And I'm going to click on the ones that I uploaded and that will give me mine, okay? And here's what we're going to do, chilling with the pe with my peeps, okay? <laughs> and it's the three of us, okay? So I'm going to click on that. It'll put a green box around it. Then we're going to go to the right bottom corner, insert images. And this is what it looks like. It's so adorable. I thought that that could be Maggie or me, and that could be Melvin, and then that one could be me or Maggie, whichever one you want it to be, okay? And it's very colorful, all right? So what I want to do, it came in really large, okay? So I'm going up to the top where it says size and unlock that lock. And for the width, I'm going to backspace and I think I'm going to make it 7.5 for the width. And for the height, 8.0. And then make sure you lock that little lock back, okay? Then if you look over here in the layers column, I'll, it's going to be like this is going to be a basic cut and then all this so we're going to be doing different colors of vinyl all right so we're going to go to make it right top corner it's going to uh, sort it onto our mats and you can use the same mat over and over now one thing you want to make sure you do is you go down through here and you mirror every one of these mats okay because Anytime you use heat transfer, you have to mirror it, okay? And I have the Cricut iron-on vinyl because you have to have iron-on vinyl for this, okay? So I've mirrored all of those. Now I have my Cricut set to vinyl. We're going to go to continue right bottom corner. It's connecting to my computer, okay? And so the next time you see me, we will be cutting out this really cute t-shirt. Okay, here's my t-shirt that I chose for my husband. We just went to Michael's and picked it up. It's a large. I thought this really pretty yellow would be pretty, okay? Then I have my light grip mat here, okay? And then I just picked out a bunch of Cricut vinyl, okay? So I hope this works out because um, I've never used Sport Flex iron-on before and it's supposed to be for nylon. So I picked up two of these. So I hope it works out. We'll see. So I picked up this really pretty mint collar. And then this is the other Sport Flex, this really pretty blue. So I'm not sure if they'll work. But then I went back to my everyday iron-on uh, white Cricut. And the Everyday Iron On in Lilac. I think this will be so pretty for those peeps. And then the Everyday Iron On in Blush because I really couldn't find a pink. And then I thought I would use this. It's Cricut. Um, some kind of Iron On. I got it at Christmas time. And to me, it looked like... I got it at Michael's. It looks like that new... Uh, peep that they have out that's black and kind of white. Okay, the first thing it's going to cut is the word chillin' and the little rabbits with. Okay, so I'm going to use the white for that. And I'm just going to take my paper cutter. 
and cut what I think I'll use. Okay, so I'm just going to use this white. I've cut it down with my paper cutter. You want to put this upside down on your mat when you're doing heat transfer vinyl. You want to put this really pretty shiny side down and the flat side up, okay? All right. Then all we're going to do is just stick this inside the Cricut and load it with the blinking arrow and cut with the blinking C. So I'll go ahead and fast forward through this while I cut out all of these. Okay, now to weed this, you just pull away everything that you do not want. Then here's a little tail right here I have to separate. Okay. And I think, oh, and then I have one more tail I need to separate. Okay, I think we're ready. Okay. okay, so I have my heat guide, and like I say, I'm always so hilarious. I keep a Band-Aid over top of my iPad. Okay, so I'm going to select my transfer material. Um, the first I'm going to put on is the white, and it's Everyday Iron-On. Okay, and then I'm going to my base material... This is, I think, a cotton poly blend. No, it's 100% cotton, okay? And I'm using my Easy Press Mat and Apply, and it will tell me how long. I have to do it at 315 for 30 seconds. Light pressure. Then I have to flip it and press for 15 seconds and a cool peel, okay? I love this, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and turn my Easy Press on. I'm going to... So it's already at 315, it's already at 30 seconds. Okay, so I'm gonna wait for that to heat up. Then I'll go ahead and iron the shirt to get the wrinkles out, anything like that. Okay, so I'm going to move all this over. This really isn't hard, it's really easy. And while it's, it's hot enough to get the wrinkles out, and it'll get any moisture out of the shirt. And we'll also get, like I said, those wrinkles out. Now you can fold your shirt down the middle however you want to do it. I just always eyeball it. Okay, I'm going to try to apply as much of this as I can. So I'm going to put chillin', I think, right like. 
maybe like that. And then with and my, and you could print this all white if you wanted the writing. And what you need to do is make sure that you cut this plastic way up if you're going to put this all down at the same time because you don't want to adhere it to your plastic, okay? And I have a picture here. Okay, with, <laughs> this is going to be cute, my, and then our rabbits. I think we can get all this on at one time. Just have to cut close, like I said. There's one. Got to cut that off more. Okay, and where's his third little peat? Third little rabbit. You can put these on one at a time if you want. Okay, so what we're going to do now, different vinyl goes down differently. Now, this is the Sport Flex, so let me check what Sport Flex goes on. Let's see. Sport Flex. 100% cotton. See, you're not supposed to use this on 100% cotton. I went ahead and put it on, even though Sport Flex isn't supposed to go on to 100% cotton. So we will see. Now this is a cool peel, okay? Okay, we'll see. I'm going to, it's cool, pretty cool. So I'm going to go ahead. I know this will be fine. It's a cool peel, okay? That is so cute. Then I'm going to go ahead and take the rabbits off. They weren't. Okay. Now let's see if this even transfers to cotton. Oh, it did. It transferred. I'm thrilled. Okay. That's what we're getting so far. Okay. Now be very careful. I, I don't know why I can't see. I left this little piece overlap that rabbit and it messed it up. So now his ear looks a little funny. So be really careful. So now what I want to do is I'm going to put their tails on them, okay? Just make sure you cut around this really close because I'd hate for you to ruin your project, okay? Okay, I decided to give Melvin the blue tail and then the girls will have a pink and a green tail. I think that is better, okay? Now I'm going to cover this that I've already done with this Teflon pad and it will help protect it, okay? Same principle, I'm going to hold that on there, but definitely make sure you cut that close. And okay, it's cold. Let's just peel this right off. So I can get the Sport Flex to stay on my, um, 100% cotton shirt. Now, will it hold up in the wash? I don't know. I'll have to let you know, okay? Now, we're going to put our peeps. Now, I ended up changing um, the colors that I was going to use for my, the one that I said would look like the new peep that they had out because I could never see that at all, okay? So, I'm going to do a blue at the beginning and the end. 
Okay, we're going to put this one, move this up. I'm going to put this right here in a little bit. And the E. I don't want to get anything stuck to anything. Okay, once you get it like you want it, put this back on and apply it there for 30 seconds. And then we will have an adorable shirt. Okay. All right, we'll let this cool and then we'll take a look. Okay, at it. here's how the shirt turned out. I really do love it. I just made one mistake. I bet you can already see it right now. I could not see like I kept saying, and I figured out why I couldn't see to weed it because the ring light was just so bright. Well, turns out that S, and I should have known those other letters are empty around through there, but I went ahead I don't know where my mind was. And I went ahead and put that S knot weeded up there at the top. So this can be a little Easter egg for his shirt. <laughs> but you won't make that mistake. But look how cute that is. You could do it with any colors that you wanted. So I got the Sports Flex to go on my 100% cotton shirt and it's not supposed to be compatible with it. Now I don't know how it will wash, I'll have to keep you updated on that. But when I wash these shirts, I turn them inside out and I do not use fabric softener and I use cold water gentle cycle. And I haven't had any trouble, but like I said, this one's a little different. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. It really helps me out on YouTube. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, I would love it if you would subscribe and become a member of our family. And if you subscribe, hit that notification bell and set it to all so you won't miss an upload. So I will see you tomorrow, Tuesday, for our Dollar Tree Candy Easter Taste Test. My husband will be wearing this shirt. <laughs> so until next time, bye guys.